what's new. I think it's, it's still early to tell. It's only a few months after Katowice. What I would consider new is the, when the report, when the 1.5 report came out, there is more political commitment uh, because of the agency and also that most, most African countries, most uh, politicians now, they realize the agencies and the, the, the seriousness of climate change and the commitment to reduce emissions, the commitment to um, strengthen adaptation efforts. I think, I feel that among decision maker and politicians, yeah, because of that 1.5 and a lot of uh, discussion that happened at Katowice. That's what I've, I've seen. Um, yes and no, but mostly no. Because I feel like climate change is still understood as a science thing or as a geography thing. It, it, it should be seen as an issue that requires governance commitment, that require, that is seen as a cross-cutting issue as well. But it's an issue that in every sector we need to consider. Uh, uh, um, in terms of uh, climate change leadership in Africa, is still boxed as an international issue. It's like the agenda is very much international. What I would like to see, I would like to see climate change nationalized. Just the same way we talk about rural development or programs addressing poverty. I don't see that same commitment or that same level of energy when, it's, when it comes to climate change. It's still more like an international agenda that is pushed from somewhere into Africa. So the, the leadership is still emerging and I have confidence that after Katowice, it's, it's going to be more um, improving. Uh, like for somebody in the, in the, in the panel said, we need uh, the right capacity, we need to deploy uh, capacity in the right positions. I feel like the people who understand climate change, the people who have uh, passion to um, talk about climate change, they are not in the right positions in Africa. So I feel the leadership in Africa still need to transform and, and have the right people in the right positions, people with passion really to talk about climate change just as much as we talk about poverty issues and rural development. I think what needs to happen more is partnership. I, I'm speaking to academic mainly because we've been pointing fingers at politicians a lot. They are not doing this, there's no political will, this is not happening. I think we need more partnership. Academics need to come on the table. The politicians, I'm talking about like the parliamentarians, they are the ones who prioritize national issues. They are the ones who distribute the budget. They are the ones who drive the political will and try the national agendas. So the, the academics and the politicians, we need more partnership. We need to create awareness. We need to trust each other. I think it's, it's an institutional matter. It's a governance matter in Africa that I think need to happen first. We need to trust each other, and then we need to be at the same level of awareness and understanding of what is this climate change? What is this 1.5? What does it mean for my country? How do I respond? And I tell you, speaking for my country, for instance, Namibia, we have already committed to rural development. There's national budget allocated to that. At the same time, we have climate change community going in sort of like opposite direction. But if you come together with the same budget that you allocated for rural development, you could make that climate compatible. And donor funding could just, you know, make that more effective. It could just take it a level further. But what is happening, you need 100% donor funding for climate change adaptation. But there are processes that are going in the, in the, in the national government that are not called climate change but are building resilience, they are building adaptive capacity. So we need that partnership. 
just to have the conversations, the academics and the parliamentarians and the NGOs, traditional authority, uh, community representative. We need to sit and have a conversation because I believe we all have solutions. It's just we need to sit and just have the same voice. That's what needs to happen in Africa.